Join me on the flight to Schaumburg, Illinois, home of Pilot Pete's restaurant. I'll meet some friends for lunch there. And on the way, I'll explain a little bit about the uh, airspace there, not too far from Chicago here, and how to go about the IFR routing to that airport. Going from Cedar Rapids to Chicago is almost due east. However, due to ATC procedures in this area, IFR arrivals going to Chicago cannot come in from the west. They have to come in diagonally from the southwest or northwest. So at home, on the morning of my flight, I look up a few routes in ForeFlight that ATC will likely accept. This is for filing purposes and my initial IFR clearance only, to make the FAA computer happy. It is almost guaranteed that the actual route I fly will be amended once I talk to Chicago Approach and end up close to the direct route. Clear! Okay, first thing we do is um, upload the flight plan to the panel. Send to panel. And we got the uh, route upload ready. And to get there, I go to my routes. And I have Cedar Rapids to 6 0 Charlie. I load it. And it is exactly like it came from Four Flight. So with the Cedar Rapids to 6 0 Charlie, I activate this route. And this is now. My route to fly. First waypoint, this ball. And then the Victor 172 from there. Sea Rapids Airport, information November 16520, wind 130 at 5, visibility 5, ceiling 10,000 overcast, temperature minus 1, dew point minus 2, altimeter 3011, visual approach runway 9 or in use, hazardous weather information for Iowa and surrounding states, available on flight service frequency. Flies on initial contact, you have November. Okay, information November, very light wind from the southeast, uh, runway 9 are in use, and the ceiling is high enough that I expect to be in the clear all the way up to my filed cruise altitude of 9000. And if that doesn't happen, we can always stop our climb lower and amend our cruise altitude and uh, stay out of icing conditions. Alright, now the big question, do we actually get the uh, filed route? Sea Rapids clearance. Good morning, Bonanza 7 Zero Tingo Bravo. Information November IFR to Schaumburg 06 Charlie. Ready to copy. Bonanza 7 Zero Tingo Bravo. Sea Rapids clearance delivery clear to Zero 06 Charlie Airport as filed. Maintain 5000. Expect 9000. minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.7. Squawk 5315. Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, clear to the Schaumburg Airport as filed, climb maintain 5000, expect 9000 minutes after 119.7 for departure, squawk 5315. And the 7 0 Tango Bravo, read back, right? And ground, Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, ready for taxi, November, uh, West East, full length, please. And the 7 0 Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids ground, runway 9 or taxi via Alpha. 9 or via Alpha, Bonanza 0 Tango Bravo. Clear to the left, clear to the right, right turn on Alpha. Okay, oil temperature is approaching 100 degrees, that's good, we want the oil warm for the run-up, but certainly for the takeoff. Okay, into the wind for the run-up. Run-up, brakes are set, fuel is on the left tank, both tanks are full, flight controls are free and correct. Mixture, best power. Convoy 3993, Cedar Rapids, clearance delivery, clear to Dallas, Fort Worth, airport has found, maintain 5000, spec, flight level 280, one minutes after departure. 
Approach frequency 119.7. Squawk 6240. Temperature and pressure here. good. Uh, amp meter good. Uh, all engines, oh sorry, all cylinders are working. All temperature is good. At the bottom of the green. 993, read back, correct. And throttle idle is good. Pre takeoff, mixture, best power, prop, high RPM, trim is three up, cow flaps are open, fuel pump is off, pedo heat is off, door, window, closed. Transponder is on mode C, lights on the runway. Departure briefing. I'm departing runway Niner from uh, Cedar Rapids. Any engine anomaly with runway ahead, I will pull the power and land straight ahead. Any engine anomaly uh, under 2000 MSL, I will look for a place into the wind and ahead of the wings, which will be a slight right turn, straight to right, um, land into the wind on the ground. And uh, above 2000, we can take a moment to consider options. And we're ready. Switch to tower. One other landing for us. Embraer. It was in 25, Sheriff Star. Right, go ahead. Legion 25, would you be able to pull four? We have that aircraft stop coming on out five. Sure. Let's wait for our rampers. Looks like they uh, kind of shocked that we're here. All right, uh, Lispo is our first. Warship 4672. Alpha, straight the ramp with you. Warship 4672. That's I expect runway heading for departure. And as soon as that Embraer is off the runway, I will tell Tower. Tower, leads at uh, 25. Leads 25, Tower. Yeah, it looks like there's a communication. It looks like they want us to gate 9, so we're going to have to swing around. Uh, is there anybody behind us? Allegiant 25, uh, water skis on Alpha 5. Okay, uh, do we need to give way to them? I don't know what gate they're going in. Come on, guys, water can you do that on ground? 72, hold short of Alpha. We're all short here, water ski 472. Tower, Bonanza 7, Zero Tank Bravo, ready, runway 9 Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, Sheriff Tower, and turn, correction, uh, turn left direct Lisbo, runway 9, clear for takeoff. Left direct Lisbo, clear for takeoff, runway 9, no Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo. Clear runway, clear approach. Lights are on. And we're doing a normal takeoff. Slight wind from the right. Yes, been alive. Positive rate, gear up. Seven zero tanker Bravo, contact departure, good flight. Thank you, contact departure, but answer the Bravo, have a good day. Seat up departure, good morning, but answer seven zero tanker Bravo, one thousand seven hundred, climbing five thousand. Bonanza seven zero tanker Bravo, seat up departure, radar contact, climb and maintain nine or thousand. Climb and maintain 9,000, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo. Okay, passing 2,000.
temperature is going up, which is not unusual on these winter days. And now in the climb, watching my number uh, five cylinder here, and I'm leaning to keep the EGT at about 1320, which is what it shows, what it showed today at, uh, at takeoff. And the idea is to keep the fuel flow so that we are at that ridge of peak setting that, uh, that works so well for high power. Everything looks normal in the climb bar. We've got the throttle wide open. Uh, the mixture controls our target EGT for the climb. The RPM stays at 2700 for the climb. Uh, EGTs look that all show that all cylinders are healthy. My number six cylinder is the hottest CHT, and that is uh, typically like that in uh, in the Bonanza, just because of where it's located and and how the air does or doesn't flow around it. Over here on the Avidyne IFD, you can see that uh, we're approaching Lisbo here, another mile, and then we'll join Victor 172 from there. Cedar Rapids departure, Cherokee 129er, 1,700, climbing 3,500. Cherokee 33129 Cedar Rapids departure, radar contact, turn right on course, VFR altitude, your discretion. Turn right on course, VFR, my discretion, not 1296. One thousand to go. All right, I think we're gradually getting into more and more hazy air. What I'll do is I'll ask to go back to seven thousand. Uh, approach Bonanza seven zero Tango Bravo. I'd like to uh, change my cruise altitude and uh, descend back to seven thousand, if that works. Bonanza seven zero Tango Bravo, Roger. Uh, descend to maintain seven thousand. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, thank you. Uh, leaving 8,500, descending 7,000. Cherokee 129 er traffic 1 o'clock, 3 miles, uh, maneuvering altitude in the case 1,700. Appears to be in the pattern at Green Castle. They're looking for traffic 129. Okay, and with that I go to my cruise setting 2,500. And I'm going to transition to lean of peak now. Uh, zero Tango Bravo contact, Quad Cities approach 125.95. Quad Cities 125.95, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, happy day. Thank you. Quad City approach, good morning, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, 7600, descending 7000. And uh, 7 Zero Tango Bravo, Quad City approach, good morning, Quad City altimeter 3013. 3013, thank you. Liking the ground speed, over 190 knots, but of course that's in the descent. About 300 feet to go. All right, we're level at 7,000 again, and uh, I'm liking what I see here. It's unlimited visibility, whereas before at 9,000 or on the way up to 9,000, it was very, very hazy. And uh, what I like about the unlimited visibility today, you know, even though we're on IFR flight plan, is um, it it eliminates any any sudden surprise yeah, of ending up in back. clouds that could produce Let's icing. So um, this gives me ample warning of anything that might be happening. And looking out here at 7,000, there ain't anything in front of us, so um, we should be good to go uh, for quite a while. So if I look at my flight plan, uh, it's pretty much straight from Pretty Cedar Rapids to the tower for one to two zero six Charlie to Schaumburg except contact tower one one nine point four except here at Simon intersection <laughs> we're going to Joliet and that is what the computer wanted the FAA computer wants one, two, Juliet, all arrivals into Chicago to come in diagonally VFR, frequency change um, and departures go out straight east west north south 
I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is before we get to Simon, we'll get a different routing, maybe to its DuPage or maybe okay, direct to Schaumburg. Contact I uh, really one, don't two, think we're going to fly zero, to Joliet, but you know, for filing purposes, that was the, the magic to make the flight plan accepted. Weber 2627, descend pilot's discretion, maintain 4000. Discretion 4000, Weber 2627. Because if I had just filed direct, I probably would have gotten Moline, uh, Victor 8 to Joliet, and that is Bananza way... Zero, Tango, Bravo. Have amendment to your route. Advise, ready to copy. Uh, Bonanza, Zero, Tango, Bravo, ready to copy. Bonanza, Zero, Tango, Bravo, cleared to Schaumburg Airport via direct Kink intersection. Hotel, India, November, Charlie, Kilo. Direct Juliet VOR, Juliet Oscar Tango, direct, maintain 7000. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, clear to the Schaumburg Airport, direct Hink intersection, direct Joliet, direct, maintain 7000. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, read back track. Okay, um, let's see where that intersection is. Okay, so a slight change, and I am going to again send that to the panel and retrieve it. And magically, the airplane turns. Now, if I had GPS steering, uh, it would be even further automated. I don't have that. One of these days, I'm going to get an EFIS, uh, replace my uh, mechanical gauges, and that will get me GPS steering. But you know, for now, I have to twist the uh, course selector knob whenever there's a turn in the flight plan. Worst things could happen. I see the Mississippi in front of me. Okay, so basically the plan has not changed, right? We're slightly further south uh, on the way to Hink now than we were earlier on the way to Simon intersection. Uh, what matters is that we don't get that turn to the south to Joliet, but that from Hink we figure out how to get to Schaumburg in the shortest possible way. And we'll work that out with Chicago approach. Still getting a nice tailwind, 173 knots, still 74 yeah, knots over the ground. Juliet, thank you, enter left base, runway 27. It is getting hazier. Let's see what we can find out about the weather. The page says nine miles and clear. Schaumburg, 10 miles and clear. Aurora, 5 miles and clear. O'Hare, 10 miles. So, it looks like visibility may be a little limited, but I should expect clear skies in the Chicago area. Up to the right here, I see a little bit of a cloud layer below me. But that's to the south of our route. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo contact Rockford Approach 126.0. Good day. Rockford 126.0. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo. Have a good day to you. Bye bye. See ya. Rockford Approach, good morning, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, level 7000. 70 Tango Bravo, Rockford Approach, Rockford Altimeter 3013. 3013, thank you. 
crossing the Mississippi, flying over a dam. So where the water is slow on the north side of the dam, it's all frozen. And on the south side, it's flowing freely. So approach 523, Romeo Sierra, 9000. Remember 523, Romeo Sierra, rocket approach, rocket altimeter 3013. Commands of zero tango, Bravo, descend to maintain 5000. Leaving 7000, descending 5000, Bonanza zero tango, Bravo. All right, I turn the altitude hold off, and the pitch selector is such. November 71, Sierra Mike, Rockford Approach, Rockford Altimeter 301. Then I get a descent rate approaching? that Dangle works. Just going in there via bar and verify your information, Papa, at Janesville. Or once you're Mike, Roger, and say type aircraft. I don't want to descend too fast. Uh, you know, I'm still far away, and the, the faster I descend, the less efficient it is. It took some, uh, some time and energy to get as high as we were. And uh, I don't want to waste that. I want to make the most of it and say about 300 feet per minute. Uh, works much better to turn that into a speed advantage on the way down and on the way to the destination than a faster descent. All right, also I uh, got to set up my, uh, my radio frequencies for weather and the uh, traffic uh, advisory frequency at Schaumburg. And I have that Charlie Hotel contact tower listed one, one, we'll on uh, Forklight. But you know, I also have that on the uh, IFD navigator. You can see the AWOS and the uh, Unicom frequency Arrow here. Eight zero four appears to be no traffic so you in the Santa Airport. I'm put this one in, it. so I'm going to make the AWOS my active and the uh, Unicom my standby. November Zero Tango Bravo to verify your direct Simon. When it says Zero Tango Bravo negative, uh, previous controller amended my routing to uh, direct Hink intersection. Hotel India, November, Charlie, uh, Kilo. Zero Tango Bravo, Roger. EMC direct Schomburg. Direct Schomburg, when it says Zero Tango Bravo, thank you. All right. And that, of course, is an easy switch. Direct destination. That's uh, Dixon here on the right. I believe that's uh, Ronald Reagan's birthplace, Dixon, Illinois. And that's a shot off to the left here with the little river and cooling towers. Okay, leveling off at 5,000. I press altitude and hold. Autopilot pitch is up. 419 or 11 maintain VFR at or below 4,500. All right, we're 20 minutes from uh, DuPage. Once we get to DuPage, you can see here the, the airspace is, uh, shall we say, interesting. Uh, DuPage is just a few miles west of uh, a little airport called Chicago O'Hare. So there's a lot of traffic overhead. You know, Depending on which way they land, they could have arrivals or departures going over Schaumburg. Um, and what's likely going to happen is we will uh, be asked to cancel IFR because they, they just can't handle us that close to O'Hare going into Schaumburg uh, on IFR and have to stay outside of the Class Bravo airspace going VFR. And outside of the Class Bravo means to stay below. Uh, we ha have to stay below 4,000 feet here at first. Then there's a sector at 3,000 feet. And finally, just a couple of miles before Schaumburg, 1900. So we got to stay below 1900 feet in the pattern going into Schaumburg. Schaumburg, the East New Airport. Automated weather observation. 1752. Zulu weather. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Clear below 12,000. Temperature 2 Celsius. 
two point minus five altimeter three zero one two. All right, calm wind and uh, no change in the altimeter. Uh, Schaumburg has one runway, one one two niner, and uh, once we uh, get close enough to listen to the sea tab, we'll see which one they're using today, and then we'll uh, work ourselves into the pattern for that runway. All right, we are approximately 40 miles. Fernando Zero Tango Bravo, contact Chicago approach 133.5. 133.5, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, good day. Chicago approach, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, level 5000 uh, with weather and notice for Schaumburg. Seven Zero Tango Bravo, Chicago approach, Roger, are you familiar with procedures in the Schaumburg? Affirmative, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo. Roger, advise me ready to cancel your IFR, I'll send 3013. 3013 and welcome. So, as I, uh, as I mentioned, the controller expects me to cancel IFR when we get uh, closer to the class Bravo airspace and then stay below the class Bravo. When it's a 7 Zero Tango Bravo, we'd like to cancel IFR at this time. Zero Tango Bravo cancellation received. Do you want to stay on for advisories? When it's a Zero Tango Bravo, affirmative. Single Bravo, maintain VFR outside class Bravo, again, open 3013. 3013, outside class Bravo, I'm leaving 5000 now, uh, descending 3500 for the time being. Gotcha. Medevac 31 Kilo, contact approach 128.2. 128.2, 5000 Kilo. Gotta go to below 4000 before we get to the class Bravo. Zero Tango Bravo, looks like traffic departing to Calb at 1 o'clock, 3 miles, currently westbound, climbing indicates uh, 1,500. Uh, but then says Zero Tango Bravo, negative contact, looking. Alright, uh, below 4,000, so I'm at a good altitude for the class Bravo. Then we have another 15 miles or so before we get lower again, to below 3,000. But, you know, we're going fast, it will all happen very quickly. I've already dialed back the power, I'm at uh, 22 inches now. Just give ourselves a little more time here in the busy airspace in Chicago. Okay, it looks like that uh, DuPage traffic is just, I'm sorry, the DeKalb traffic is just the pattern at DeKalb. I never saw him visually, but That's I did see 50, him. 348 Chicago departure radar contact. On, uh, on fourth flight. And looking out, it is hazy over the windy city. Uh, I can barely see the outline of the, the skyline, the downtown skyline. Uh, I doubt the camera is picking any of this up. But you know, on a clearer day, you can see it uh, quite clearly from here. That's about 5348, climb and maintain 4000, contact departure 125.4. Okay, that was one aircraft using runway 29 at Schaumburg. And uh, Schaumburg has left traffic. 29 er Okay, we're 10 miles away. We're in no rush, but ultimately we need to go below 3000. And then it's a very short way here, uh, just 5 miles from the 3000 ring to the 1900 ring so everything will go very quickly uh, we're going to be just on the northern edge of the uh, DuPage class delta I'm going to heading mode now and, and make just a very slight left turn to make sure that we stay clear of the class delta definitely getting busier here on uh, traffic display I can see the DuPage airport there at my 2 o'clock. Not quite a year ago, uh, my friend Matt and I visited the uh, DuPage Tower and got a nice tour there. We turned that into a nice video as well, maybe you've seen that. I'm going to reduce my uh, power a little more to 20 inches. 
better get below 3,000 here in the next uh, five miles. Eight three zero Chicago Park Schrader contact on the main same four thousand. Bonanza zero single Bravo Schomburg twelve o'clock ten miles five in the evidence site. Bonanza zero single Bravo will go and uh, descending now to below the Bravo. Maintain 6,000. Okay, 3,000. Let me review the altitudes one more time. 3,000 and uh, 1,900. And uh, 7 Juliet Whiskey. I wonder if that's my friend. Oh. Yes, yeah, so that's 3317. Bravo now. Expect room center. Good answer. Zero Bravo has Schaumburg inside. We'd like to uh, switch to uh, traffic advisory now. Zero single Bravo, Raider Service Terminate, Squawk VFR, frequency change proof. Squawk VFR, leaving your frequency, thanks for the help, and it's Zero single Bravo. Suspect 317. You get below 1900. Chamber traffic, Bonanza, Zero Tango Bravo, uh, six miles to the west, we'll enter the pattern for 2-9 or full stop, Schomburg. Traffic jumpers away, skydivers in the air, 11,500 to the surface, next five minutes, he's right. I can vaguely see the O'Hare airport in front of me. Track County Regional Airport, November says now, 535 Hotel Box Track, 20 miles in bound. Alright, this sets us up nicely okay. for the downwind. 16, uh, low approach, uh, practice. There's 1900. Uh, Works out beautifully. Now we'll lower the gear. I don't see anybody else in the traffic pattern. Three greens. Schaumburg traffic, but it's a Zero Tango Bravo is uh, on a downwind for 2 niner Schaumburg. Landing checklist. Gear is down and locked. Mixture traffic, just like the Green Hanson North. Let us know when those sky drivers uh, are short landing. Chopper traffic, Archer at 35 kilo, 65 off runway 29er, remaining in the pattern. Chopper. Chopper traffic, Zero Tank Bravo is uh, on downwind for 29er. Departing traffic is inside the Chopper. Yeah, traffic coming in East Trey. It looks like jumpers are on the ground. They're landing to the northeast of the intersection of the paved and grass runways. Sure, we are okay, the arch is on the roll. Schaumburg traffic. Zero Tango Bravo is on a left base, 2 9 full stop. Schaumburg departing Archer in sight. Full traffic here, 154 and 4 to the south, maneuvering for the 45 to runway. Schaumburg traffic, Bonanza, Zero Tango Bravo, short final, 2 niner, full stop, Schaumburg. Schaumburg, you can Bonanza, Zero Tango Bravo. If you just please pull up a little closer to the west side of the ramp for us, please. West side of the ramp, I'll do that, Zero Tango Bravo. If you see me going the wrong way, let me know. Three miles. Right, thank you. Yes, undercarriage, mixture, prop. Schaumburg traffic, Archer 35 kilos, turning left crosswind, runway 2 niner, Schaumburg. Three greens. Okay, landing a little long. Traffic, Archer 35 kilos, turning left downwind, runway 29er, Schomburg. But a nice soft landing. After landing, check uh, flaps identified up, call flaps open, and lights. Schaumburg traffic, Zero Tango Bravo is uh, clear of the runway, Schaumburg. And uh, Schaumburg Unicom uh, from the Bonanza, do you want me to form a new line in front? Uh, west of the Baron and uh, other Bonanza, or do you want me to park next to the Cessnas here? 
Uh, no, if you can make the line by uh, by these other two planes, that's just fine. Thank you. All right. That looks like George's P. Baron. Traffic, Archer 35 kilos turning left base runway 29er, Schomburg. With the Bonanza parked, I walk over to Pilot Pete's, the restaurant, where I meet my friends for lunch. Usually I have the world famous pork roast, but today I'm going for a variation of that, the pork roast stroganoff. It's delicious. The restaurant is popular with pilots and locals alike. After lunch, we head back to the ramp and get ready to fly home. I hope you enjoyed this flight, and as always, if you did, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about it. I hope to see you again soon on another flight. Until then, fly safe.